Okay, uh, we're going to demonstrate a few concepts that you need to be able to handle the mass mass lab, which is one of the labs for the unit. And I'm just going to use this reaction here, bromine reacting with sodium iodide, forming iodine and sodium bromide. I've already got it balanced, and you can see that. All right, underneath each compound, I've written, or element, I've written the molar mass, and so you can see those written out. And then to do a check for conservation of mass, I took the masses of the reactants, which says one mole and two moles, so I took one of the mole mass values for bromine and two for sodium iodide and added those up, and you can see those came out to 459.6. How nice. And then over on the reactant side, if we really believe in the conservation of mass, then it should work out to the same mass. Let's see if it does. The mole mass is given. Again, one mole of iodine and two moles of bro uh, sodium bromide should be produced, so it took one times the iodine's uh, formula mass or mole mass and added to it two units of the mole mass of sodium bromide and added those up and lo and behold it comes out 459.6 as it should demonstrating the conservation of mass. Now we're going to sort of fly off on a tangent here with that idea of mass here. So what I'm going to do now is show you how you can predict the actual mass of a product, which is something you're going to be doing in this lab, uh, given a starting mass. So let's just adopt the starting position saying we have, let's say given or we used in lab, let's say 15.98 grams of bromine and let's say we want to figure out how many grams of uh, sodium bromide should be formed in this reaction. Alright, so what I'm going to do is set up a little guide for myself. I'm going to say, oh, I know I'm comparing Br2 to NaBr and I know that the balanced reaction says there's always going to be a 1 to 2 mole ratio between those two species. So now what I need to do is get everything into mole kind of language because I can only use the 1 to 2 ratio if it's in mole terms. So I'm going to convert 15.98 grams of bromine into its number of moles the way I would always do that. I'm going to take the given mass and divide by the mole mass, the weight of one mole. And that should give me the proportion or the amount of moles. And so you can see the math here, I picked this number on purpose, gives us exactly 0.1 moles of bromine. Now I'm going to make my prediction. I'm going to predict first in moles. So 0.1 moles, given the fact that one mole of bromine should produce two moles of sodium bromide, well, therefore 0.1 moles of bromine should produce 0.2 moles of NABR. And now to convert that into my answer, the number of grams, I'm going to need to know something about sodium bromide again. How heavy is it per mole? And so I'm going to come over on the other side and just exit the problem by multiplying now by the mole mass 102 grams, 0.9 per mole. For those of you who like to do things by the ratio method instead, you should talk to your teacher about that and he can show you another setup. So when we do that, we're going to get a number, I believe, somewhere in the range of 20.58 grams of product. Okay. So that's how we would do a problem like that. Now one other thing you might need to be able to do is to calculate something called a percent yield. So I'm going to come up to the top corner here and do that. Now percent yield is really nothing different than the way that you're used to getting your grades. It's the amount you got out of the amount you should have produced. So let's say we did this reaction and we went to lab and we did some messing around and we collected our product sodium bromide somehow and we had started with 15.98 grams of bromine, so we know we should have gotten 20.58 grams of sodium bromide. And let's just say that we're a little careless, or we had some spills, or some stuff splashed out. So in the end, perhaps we get uh, actual yield of maybe, let's say, 20.15 grams, and we should have gotten, or in other words, theoretically, our yield should have been this number 20.58 given our starting amount of, of bromine. So how would we get the percent yield? Well, same as you would a test score or a quiz score. How much were you theoretically supposed to get? 
And how much did you actually get? Just do a percentage. 20.15 divided by 20.58 and then multiply by 100 to put it into percentage. And that calculation or that number will be what we would call the percent yield. In this case, it would be a little less than 100%, probably again indicating a little bit of carelessness uh, during lab caused by losing some product due to spilling or things like that.